Hi, Lauren Lugavere here from Fleet and Family Support Center, San Diego. I am a work and family life consultant on the Life Skills and Deployment team. Today, I am here with you to bring you the new parent return and reunion brief. Now, with that being said, I want to say congratulations for two reasons. The first reason, congratulations, you are heading home towards deployment. You have embarked on such a unique journey, and now it is time for you to come home. So congratulations for a job well done. Also, I want to say congratulations because if you are watching this, that means that you have become a parent in the past 12 months or you're expecting a new little one as soon as you get home. So congratulations on becoming a new parent and welcome to the Parenting Club. I am a military spouse myself with two children. They are now 8 and 11 years old. I know the journey that you are about to embark on is going to be quite the adventure. So you better sit down, buckle up, hold on tight, because you're in for a journey of a lifetime with the little ones, okay? Now, with this brief today, what I'm going to do is condense it down into four different parts. The first part, we're going to discuss what to expect from your babies from ages zero to 12 months. In the second part of the brief, we're going to discuss some of the ways that you can bond with your baby before you get home as well as after you get home from deployment. In the third part of the brief, we are going to discuss some of the changes that bringing a baby into your family, how it changes your family dynamic, okay? And how to cope and how to deal with those changes for your family. Then in the fourth part, we're going to discuss some of the resources that are available to you and your family now that you do have a new little child in your lives. So let's start with section one, where we are going to take apart and talk about what to expect from babies from zero to 12 months. Now babies change drastically and they change like a blink of an eye. They could be doing nothing one day, just laying there, and then the next day they're like rolling over or they'll be rolling over one day and then the next day they're ready to sit up or they're sitting up and now they're pulling up and they're about to jump out of their cribs. You have to be very careful of watching those little ones and knowing what to expect at what stages. So let's start with newborns. Now newborns, they are going to rely on you and depend on you for all of their basic needs. They need you to feed them. They need you to set their schedule. They need you to change them, bathe them, comfort them, soothe them. They need you for all of their basic needs. Your life is going to revolve around that baby if you have a newborn. Now, newborns also cry a lot. To some of you, it might sound like nails on a chalkboard, and that's okay. We're going to have to get used to those nails on the chalkboard because we're going to have to listen to those cries. Now, I say listen to those cries because all of those cries are going to have their own little magical code to them. A baby cries because that's how they communicate. They're crying either because they're hungry, because they need their diaper change, they're tired, or they just wanna be loved. They wanna be held and snuggled. So I challenge you for when you get home to listen to your baby's cries and see if you can figure out, do they have a dirty diaper? Do they, are they hungry? Are they tired? Because I bet you they are going to have different cries for all the different ways that they are trying to communicate with you. So that's one challenge for you when you get home. Now also with newborns, they are developing every single day. You are going to discover what they like, what they dislike, and that might change over time too. Do they like to be swaddled? Do they like to take a certain binky or a certain bottle? Do they like their wipes warmed up to when you wipe their little heinies? Like they're going to have certain things that they like and certain things that they don't like. And you will learn over time what they like and what they don't like, okay? Also, most newborns do like noise. Now imagine being inside mommy's belly for nine months. Inside mommy's belly for nine months, there's a lot of noise going on in there. You have the heartbeat, 
you have the digestive system, you have the sound of water going around. So most newborns, when they come out, they're going to want some sort of noise. So it's good to think about playing some white noise maybe, or even like a heartbeat machine, so that type of noise to help calm and soothe your baby as well, okay? So now let's discuss zero to three months of age. Zero to three months of age, they start to settle down into their own routines, their own eating patterns, their own sleeping patterns. And remember, you try to set that up for your newborns. So hopefully it's playing into place now where they'll take certain naps during the day or evening before bed and hopefully waking up at the same time each night for a feeding. Um, they'll get into that routine for themselves. During zero to three months also, they start to gain control of their head a little bit better. You have to be careful though because they don't have complete control just yet. Their neck muscles, shoulder muscles, and back muscles aren't 100% at this stage. So just be careful if you're holding a baby that you still support his, his or her head because they like to like throw their head back. So just be careful with that. Also, they develop more visual skills and they'll be able to see things a little bit more clearer. They are enjoying being around other people and listening to their voices. They also like people to sing to them. They start to smile. So I suggest if you're looking at your baby, just talking with them, smile at them. Eventually you're going to get a smile back from them as well during this stage. Um, they start to become self-aware at this point. They start to notice their feet, they start to notice their hands, and it's so funny to see it the first time when they notice their hands, they're like, their eyes get so big and they're just like, oh, wow, those, what are those? And they'll start to play around with their hands and grab at their feet. So zero to three months, you're going to see a lot of changes. Now from three to six months, even more changes. They're going to become more familiar with objects as well as people during this stage. They're going to reach and grab and hold on to objects at this point because remember, they notice their hands. Now they wanna reach and grab and hold. They wanna kick things. So be aware of that. They're going to start to vocalize more sounds, not so much crying. They'll be doing some giggling some cooing, some oohs, some gurgling. Um, now also during this stage, they will start to sit up um, with support of a pillow behind them or you sit behind them and prop them up in front of you to sit on the floor with them. That will help work their back muscles. Also, you can work on tummy time where you lay your baby down on the floor and they'll start to lift their head up. When they do that, they'll be building their neck muscles as well as their shoulder and back muscles to have more control over their head, which will also help them with sitting up. During this stage, they will also start to show more facial expressions and their body movements. They'll start to wiggle around a little bit more, okay? That's three to six months. Now for six to nine months, your baby is going to be a little bit more active now. They're going to start to sit up, maybe without support. They're going to be rolling around. They're going to be pushing up on their hands and their knees. And they actually may even start crawling towards the end of this stage. They're going to grasp onto objects. So if they're on the floor, if there's a small object, They'll grab at it and pull it towards them. And guess where they're going to put it? They're going to put it towards their mouth. So anything that is around them, you have to make sure that everything is baby proof at this stage because everything they grab goes right to their mouth. So be careful with that as well. They start to chatter a little bit more during this stage and they start to associate and connect words with objects and people. 
such as mama and dada. Um, they'll start to wave hi and bye, okay? So they start to connect the words with the people. Maybe not necessarily saying them, but they start to make that connection now. They also start to become aware of who is who in the zoo, and they can start to see things going on. At this stage, they might start to be like, I don't wanna miss out on what's going on. I know people are around, so I don't wanna miss out on things. And also the hard part of this stage is teething. Teething usually starts around this age of six to nine months. You'll see lots of drool, a lot of clothing changes, bib changes because they are going to be soaked in their own saliva from drooling, um, which might also cause them pain, a little bit more crying from that and a little more sleepless nights from teething, okay? Now the last stage we're going to discuss is from nine to 12 months. And here's where I'm gonna say get ready because now they are about to take off. From nine to 12 months, your baby is going to become a new little person. They're going to get super active at this point. They should be crawling probably everywhere around your house. Um, they are going to be pulling up on tables and they're going to be wanting to start to take their first steps. Some of them might even start walking at this point. So be careful, make sure that house is baby proofed and you have things secured and locked up because they are so active at this stage. Um, they will start picking up objects with their thumb and their finger. So when you have them in the high chair eating, they'll want to start to feed themselves with smaller objects, um, so be aware of that. Also, communication and the idea of conversation is going to start at this point and they'll be able to respond to you. They'll start to yes or no. So they'll play that game with you or they'll play the game of, I'm gonna toss this and see how many times you'll pick it up for me game of no, I don't want it when they're done with their food. Um, babies at this stage also become more friendly, more affectionate. They'll start to want to give everybody hugs and kisses, and they'll start to mimic and copycat whatever they see and do. So your babies are going to change so drastically from zero to 12 months. If there is a stage that you have missed out on, research that stage, maybe see what else that you have missed. Or if you're going forward, pay attention to where is my baby? What are some things I'm going to expect, okay? They're going to develop their own little personalities over time and no baby is the same. They are all so unique. They all change at their own pace, okay? so. That was part one. I'm going to see you back for part two. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.